Now that's the summit up there. And I'm not gonna tell you where we're at because this is our secret fishing hole. And, well, secret fishing holes are best kept secret, but that's where we gotta go. Um, and the plan is to go up there and hopefully uh, catch them either at the top or when they're on the way down. Now, I'm gonna be just like you in that I won't know what these cars are, but we've got three people in here. So we've got uh, Tommy uh, behind the camera and behind me is Joe, our intern. And we're all gonna kind of try to take a guess after seeing what these cars could be. Now, uh, oftentimes what happens is because we're also doing photography, uh, it's hard to guess at what this is because I'm doing it off the top of my head. So um, by the time we actually edit this video and run the pictures, we have a better sense for it. Now I think we're gonna be getting very close to them. So let's roll all cameras. Hopefully we got some here. It looks like they're Porsches. I see Porsche. All right, go for it. We're gonna roll by. We're not gonna try to be very quiet and try not to spook them because that's always bad. All right, go for it, show them. So, uh, you never know what you're going to find up here. Can you imagine the McLaren making it over that? I have to say, the Raptor is a much, much, much better prototype hunting vehicle. So that was Jack from Road and Track uh, up here with the McLaren. Uh, the Porsche guys obviously weren't too happy to see us. Uh, but, you know, that's the way it goes. Sometimes when uh, you're up fishing, you come home and you got nothing, you're skunked, and sometimes, look at this, look at this, this is like off-roading. How do you get a McLaren through that? And sometimes you end up with a 2015 McLaren 650 and the guys from Road and Track. As always, this is Roman saying thanks for watching. Check out tflcard.com. Look at this, show them that. How did they get the 650 through this? Sorry, Jack, if McLaren sees that. <laughs> Don't mean to get you in trouble, but you already had that 2x4 at the front of the thing, so there it goes. As always, Roman from the Fast Lane Car saying thanks for watching, and check out tflcar.com for more everyday real-world reviews. Ciao.